Good morning, everyone. It is a bright and sunny Thursday. Absolutely gorgeous weather. The air is so clean. It is so nice. The sky is blue. Anyway, um, today I'm going to head out, try and view some cherry blossoms, but I'm also going to finally start reading Almond. When did I pick that book up? Um, I'm so used to reading library books now that if a book doesn't have a, like, time limit on it, <laughs> I just never read it. So I have not read Tokyo Ueno Station, I have not read Almond, and we're gonna start fixing that today. So I've got it with me, I've got a cafe that I'm heading to, and that is my game plan for the entire day, so let's go. So I have a window seat, but I'm reading, so I'm not really paying attention to the window. And all of a sudden I just heard a ton of people start screaming and it was like the book would rain, like all of the blossoms started falling and raining. But it's like an alarm clock, like I'll just be reading and then everyone will be like Bleh. So it's great, teamwork. I can read in peace and still see all the pretty blossoms falling. It's wonderful. I have decided to relocate outside because it is gorgeous and that cafe was busy. Um, right now in Seoul because of Corona, um, you're allowed to sit in cafes but you're only allowed to do it for an hour and normally that isn't enforced but um, our, I think because of like everyone traveling because of cherry blossoms, guilty, um, cases are kind of going up so I'm gonna actually really stick to the rules. So I left after an hour and now I found a bench under the cherry blossoms and I'm gonna read in the sun and the good air quality and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> oh and I'm already on chapter 12. They're quite short chapters but um, again her writing style is really e like easy to digest. It's definitely one that I could read in one sitting um, so we'll see how how long this takes me to get through but yeah so far um, so far so good. Okay, so now we are going to head to lunch because I'm actually hungry after eating nothing but sugar. Um, so we're gonna head to one of my favorite places, but before that, um, I haven't really been filming it, but I've been taking a bunch of pictures and I kind of want to segue into the lovely Skillshare who sponsored this video. How many times have I talked about Skillshare? I love them, I use them all the time. Skillshare is an online learning community. They have classes ranging from business to creative writing to art to photography. And I already talked about this class, but I want to talk about it again. 
um, because I actually really loved it. It is street and documentary photography um, and it's taught by Andre Wagner, Andre D. Wagner. It was just like the chillest class. It was, I don't know, I really loved it. Um, so other than reading, my only like legit hobby <laughs> is uh, photography so I'm trying to get better at it especially with film I don't take a lot of risks and stuff like that um, and he kind of talked about how you can figure out like you just have to kind of take a shot and it might be bad kind of thing so anyway it was very fun I learned a lot and I highly recommend it so if you do want to try it Skillshare if you haven't yet um, there is a link in my description box the first 1,000 people to click it can get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership after that oh my god there's a bus i'm gonna die <laughs> after that it's about ten dollars a month <laughs> so okay i will catch you guys later but thank you again to skillshare for sponsoring this let's get me some food and by the time that this is up hopefully i will have finished this roll and you can check out my film stuff i'll link it down below as well so thank you skillshare let's get food <laughs> Stopped at a really noisy part. Okay, hi, so I am now on part three. I'm like set to finish this book probably tonight, but I am going to meet up with a friend, so I'm gonna stop the vlog here until I get home. Um, but what a gorgeous day. I just sat outside reading. Um, the book is actually really good so far. It's written like in a very simple way, but it's really engaging. So yeah, I actually, I really like it. Um, People have said that it's like ripped their heart out and everyone's like, Carrie, oh my God, it's the saddest book ever. And like, so far it's sad, but it's told by our narrator who has difficulty understanding emotions. So for me, it hasn't been as sad as a lot of books that can like basically rip your heart out. So I don't know, it's just, I'm wondering what's gonna happen in part three um, is all is all I'm like scared about. You guys have me freaked out. I'm gonna get like super sad. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's quite interesting, this like friendship that has just begun to form. Oh my God, all the cherry blossoms. Ah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put this away and I will talk to you guys when I get home and finish this book. Bye. Everyone. We are back in Blossom Heaven. We're at a new park and um, Hello. Hi. I'm mean, you. Okay. Your friend. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Oh hi! Yeah. Okay, that was cute. I just ran into somebody who watches my channel. We're heading across Soul Forest 
to a cafe to finish this book. I ended up not reading last night. I have a lot of work to do. So I actually still have work, so we're gonna work. But top priority, finish Almond. I know I can do it quickly. So we're gonna head to Center Coffee. Hopefully I can snag a window seat. Let's go. noisy but it's really nice outside and I want the window open um so we're home and I finished almond so it did I could have finished it in a day um but I spread it out and I'm kind of glad that I did so I stopped at part three which is around page like 170 yeah I really I really enjoyed it like I said it was like very simple writing our narrator is a teenage boy with um some kind of disability like he has some he has Alexithemia, um, which means that part of his brain, um, the part of his brain that controls things like fear and anger, um, don't work the same as most people. So um, he struggles a lot in life as far as like how to react to certain things, or like he doesn't have that basically survival instinct of like if something is scary, it means that we probably shouldn't go close to it, like fire, but he doesn't have that. And so, um, like he relies on his mom and his grandma to help him like get through life as normally as possible especially because in korea um anyone who is not neurotypical um struggles definitely especially here um and so yeah that was kind of the first part of the book and then this like tragic event happens where his support system his mother and his grandmother are no longer with him and so most of the book is him kind of surviving on his own and um just trying to get through through life and understand people um in the way that he sees the world and then we're introduced to um another boy who also is not considered a typical boy um because of his upbringing he had a really upsetting upbringing and so he and um, our main character are kind of outsiders and people are scared of them and aren't sure how to deal with them and so their relationship continues and we meet a couple other characters and stuff like that. Overall, I thought it was really good. I didn't understand, as I said, all of you guys telling me like how much you cried and I was like, I don't, I don't get it. Like there are horrific things that happen in this book but like I said, it's told from the perspective of someone who can't feel certain emotions. So it was very like, it was told in such a passive way that I felt very passive about it. Um, it wasn't until literally the last page where I was like, oh God, and I teared up. And um, yeah, so probably like the last, I would say like 10 pages, definitely like the last chapter and then the last page um, are where you're gonna get the, the waterworks going. Um, but yeah, I thought it was excellent. I definitely recommend it. Um, a very easy read. It is in total, it's 250 pages. Um, like I said, thought it was really good and definitely recommend it. I'm glad that I finally, finally read it. <laughs> uh, it's been sitting on my coffee table for a very long time collecting dust, but here it is. So yeah, um, thank you to everybody who recommended it. And I, if you haven't read it, I'm recommending it to you. Almond by Won Pyeong. So, oh, that's weird. Um, Son Won Pyeong is her name. Um, yeah, excellent. Very much enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this little springtime reading vlog. Um, I'm going to go read. I just got literally like five books off of my holds list all at the same time. So I'm panicked. So I'm going to be reading, 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 and I will give you updates on all those. So thank you as always for joining me. And thank you again to Skillshare. If you want to try Skillshare Premium, uh, the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description box will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium membership. And then after that, $10 a month. So. 
that's all I've got to say. I'm so hungry. I have food waiting off camera, starving. So I will catch you guys next week. Okay, bye.